mental portion of football, I think, is the most important, especially when you get to the NFL. I think the mental side of the game is probably about 80 percent. The mental part is, is the hardest part, and I think that's the part that separates the good players from the great players. If you fail on Monday, the only way it's a failure on Monday is if you decide to not progress from that. I mean, the biggest thing I think that really separated me through my career was my mental game. This is something that we talked about a lot as a basketball team, is about how to be in the moment, being able to visualize what might happen in those times. Michael so embraced this. You know, I always dreamed as a kid that, you know, it was possible to score 80 or 90 or 100. I always just, like, you know, had a dream. You know, like, sometimes you lay down in bed and you visualize things. The mental edge, I think, is so crucial. I see it's, it's the difference maker. I obviously try to play the match in my mind before I go on the court. I'd imagine playing for the Lakers, and I'd imagine what the uniforms look like. I'd imagine what we'd be playing, and, you know, the smell of the arena and all sort of stuff. And I would see myself, you know, getting hot. I tend to be calm. Things tend to slow down. As I go into situations that people don't know the outcome, I've already experienced them in my mind, just playing tricks with myself. So it didn't seem new to me, and I wasn't afraid to fail with it. Once I began to understand that, I became a master of the game of basketball. You know, a lot of times I've seen players, even myself, you know, when I was younger, being consumed by a particular fear and to the point where you're saying, okay, nah, it's, it's not good to feel fear. I shouldn't be nervous in this situation, like not. Nah. And it does nothing but grow versus stepping back and saying, yeah, I, I am nervous about the situation. Yeah, I am fearful about the situation. Well, what am I afraid of? And then you kind of unpack it. Mm. And then it gives you the ability to look at it for really what it is, which is nothing more than your imagination <laughs> running its course, you know? The game's all mental. Yeah. yeah, you go through a grind and you're 0 for 8, 0 for 9, and be telling yourself what's going wrong, something's wrong, and you can go to your coaches and... The most important thing I take on the field of me is my confidence. Getting up to a meet, I would visualize probably a month or so in advance just of what could happen, what I want to happen, and what I don't want to happen. Because when it happened, I was prepared for it. It's all mental. It's just you have to go out there and believe that point for point, whatever happens, it's not, nothing's going to change. And you just got to believe and keep coming at rough ends. And then if it's too good, that's too good, you know? And if I didn't get the results that I, didn't, that I wanted, then I would just go back to the drawing board. And right before the game, I like to do a lot of mental visualization. So I'll go in a locker and just um, put on headphones and just imagine myself in the game. For me, it's a lot of visualization before it actually happens. So by the time Michael steps up on the block to swim a race in a World Championships or Olympic Games, he's swum that race hundreds of times in his mind before he gets up there. So then when he gets up, all he has to do is shut everything down and it goes on autopilot. His body automatically knows what to do. The brain just switches into what he's visualized. So when you download that into your system and you go out in the, on the, in the court and you're just executing things that you've done thousands of times before and you have that dream, then that becomes possible. My mental strength, the experience, uh, understanding of how to cope with the pressure in the big moments, how to be a clutch player when it matters the most. If I have to pick one, that's the one, you know, that I would uh, point out as the highlight of my, so to say, improvement of my assets that, I've, that I have in the last 15 years. Because, you know, if I fail today, I, okay, I'm going to learn something from that failure and I'm going to try again on Tuesday. And I fail and I'm going to try again on Wednesday. So. You just heard the number one thing that's allowed these athletes to be the best in the world, even the greatest of all time. You saw a glimpse into how they manage fear and nerves, perform at their best, and reach levels most athletes dream of, envy, and admire. It's common for athletes to suffer from anxiety, fear, doubt, and other mental barriers. Afraid of making mistakes, failing to accomplish goals, losing, letting other people down. It might feel like your heart is jumping out of its chest. You feel tightness in your body, your stomach's in knots, and you may even experience panic attacks. Your son or daughter may have all of the physical abilities, the strength, speed, skill. They might put in all the hard work. They seem to do everything right, but the performance just isn't there. They're not doing what you know they're capable of. They might compare themselves to other athletes who don't put in the same work. These athletes aren't as dedicated and don't seem to care as much as your athlete does. For some reason though, those athletes are getting the results that your son and daughter should be getting. They might be in great shape, but during competition, their conditioning and endurance isn't what it normally is, and they tend to fatigue a little faster. 
It can be overwhelming to deal with these issues. At times, parents may not even know the problems and struggles that their own athlete is facing. Athletes sometimes hold these things in and may not always be ready to talk about it. I was somebody who was really good at compartmentalizing things and really just stuffing things away and never talking about them and never dealing with them. And at any given moment, I can explode and it's not healthy. So for me, it was just about opening up, you know, and just, and just talking. It might seem a little hopeless or discouraging. You might ask yourself, how can I help my son or daughter work through these issues? How can I help them conquer the fear, negative thoughts, and other mental barriers that they're facing? I'm here to tell you that I can help your son or daughter conquer these mental barriers. I wanna let you in on the secrets to help them become the best athlete that they can be. As a former elite athlete, winning a Division II state championship and going on to play Division I college volleyball, I know firsthand the pain and struggle that an athlete can go through. I know what stops an athlete from achieving their dreams and goals, but I also know what it takes to be the most successful athlete you can be. It breaks my heart knowing the fear and anxiety that many athletes go through, the consequences and pain that come along with not achieving the goals, the loss, tears, humiliation. These problems can stop athletes from getting into the school of their dreams. The anxiety, negative beliefs, and false limitations can cause an avalanche of negative consequences carrying over into all areas of life. This can destroy a person's potential beyond sport, their career, relationships, you name it. Athletes just need the knowledge and tools to blast through the roadblocks in their way. The problem is they don't know where to turn to to deal with these mental barriers. I've created a proven program used by the best of the best to help athletes conquer the problems that they're facing and to get the results they want. Why am I qualified to help athletes, you might ask? I'm a licensed professional counselor with a master's degree in clinical mental health counseling. I also have degrees in psychology and exercise physiology. I've worked with hundreds of athletes, recently helping two teams go from losing seasons to undefeated seasons. If you want your son or daughter to conquer fear, anxiety, and negative thoughts, experience confidence and freedom they've never felt before, consistently perform at their best, accomplish their goals and set records, and get into the school of their dreams. Take a second and imagine after working together with me, your son or daughter has conquered fear, anxiety, and negative thinking. They're consistently performing at the highest levels. They're accomplishing their goals and they're a top recruit at the school of their dreams. How does that feel? We can work together in person and by phone or over video conference, no matter your location. Take 10 seconds and claim your free consultation now. For a limited time, we are offering this session for free, which is normally valued at $100. Take this opportunity to provide your athlete with the tools for their success.